Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Hi. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Daniel, Veronica, you are always on time. And also Ronan. Congratulations. Uh, that's something quite important, right? To be on time. Uh, I know that you were looking for some vocabulary you will teach tonight. Ya sé yo que estaban estudiando algo como para introducir la clase de esta noche, lo que se aprendieron durante todo el día. ¿Verdad? Entonces ya les voy a preguntar, no se preocupen, que gracias a Dios siempre me recuerdo de que, si no de todas las tareas, pero pues de las más significativas siempre. Okay, so be ready. Be ready. We're going to start now. I'd like to make like a couple of minutes, wait a couple of minutes so that everybody can uh, get into the class. The majority of people are, uh, I mean, are very, very, they get, they get into the class on time. So I hope your day was a, a great day. Uh, I hope you remember to study English during the day. Okay. Yes, I studied English today. You studied English. A few right? minutes. <laughs> A few minutes. I mean, 15, 20, 30. Will be all right. I mean, but the thing is that you need to, to, to keep studying English. I mean, daily. Mm -hmm, daily. If, you, if you do it by day by day, and little by little, you are going to get better. You're good. Let's imagine today you learn uh, maybe a, 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 a motivational quote or a, an expression that, that you didn't know yesterday. So in that sense, you are improving. You are learning. Okay. And that's what we need. So let's quit a little bit. I can see Gladys. So here, hello, Gladys. Hello, hello. Now you see people are just getting into the class. You can see Oscar. Good evening. Good evening, Oscar. Good evening, Gladys. Well, I didn't see Ronan. I hope you don't have any problem, Ronan, with the... With the... Good evening, Gladys. Hope you don't have any problem with microphone. Okay. Well, I have two for five people. Okay, just a little squeeze a little bit. And be ready with the activity. You know, one of the activities, main activities that you are going to present, well, actually, there are two. The origami activity, origami, you remember about it, right? The origami activity, uh, where you are going to teach. I know, but that is for tomorrow. Today, we're going to go over need to and have to most of the time, okay? So, well, Teresa got into the class. Welcome, Teresa. I can see there is also, and let us wait a little bit more. Okay, is, let us wait a little bit. Meanwhile, be ready. Be ready with the expression you are going to share with the group tonight. Okay, so let's see. I will check the list of attendance. Uh, this is the first time I do it. Um, Aidan. Uh, just a few of you over here, right? Belen. Claudia. Daniel is over here, right? Present teacher. Yeah, pretty good, Daniel. Dina. Edgar. Gladys, I saw Gladys also, she's so here. Good, Jonathan. Maria Elba. Mario Cristobal. Berenice. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, Berenice is here. Michael. Aníbal. Norma Xiomara. Norma. Oscar Antonio. Present teacher. All right. Ronan. Present teacher. Good. Teresa. And Veraliz. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Now, 
have nine people. Well, somebody is typing in the chat. Aiden is here. Good evening, Aiden. Welcome. Good evening, Aiden. Welcome to the class. All right, so let's start as soon as possible. You know, we only have one now, I mean, 120 minutes to improve in English, to get to, to work a little bit. Uh, well, I think, yeah, Norma. Hello, good. Good evening, Norma. Okay, good evening. Welcome to the class. Uh, well, you know, today we're going to practice a lot, right? A lot, a lot of, uh, with simple present, have to and has to, and need to also, right? Need to, doesn't need to, etc. Well, but before getting into the part, let us do something. Let us try to introduce, because, you know, today, you're going to present two activities, the two main activities. One, the origami activity, where you're going to uh, provide some instructions on, on how to do something. Okay, that is the first. Later, we will see the, what, what's coming, okay? So, we try to introduce it. It's over here. I got it. Okay, so tonight there's somebody that's chatting. That's Mario Cristobal. Welcome, Mario. Welcome back. Okay, now can you listen to me, people? Yes. Yeah, all right. So, hey, what do you see over here? So we're, we're gonna see some something on here. What do you see? Origami, oh, right? Origami. This is a bird. And uh, this is a new, a new, maybe it's a, a new, a new word for you, right? Bird, bird, bird. Very similar to bear. Okay. Very similar. All right. So well. Well, we're gonna see, we're gonna try to start. Well, actually, we're, you're going to try to see what's in the image, right? There are going to be some uh, origamis, and then you are going to try to see about the, the image of it. Now, you need to find and click the hidden origami animal. So all of them are going to be about animal. Within the time limit, that's uh, 10 seconds, okay? So you need to identify the animal and tell uh, which animal uh, it's in the image, okay? Number one, what do you see there? What do you see? Hey, time is running. Uh-huh, so, hey, time's up. What do you see? There's nothing there? No hay nada ahí, no, no hay nada. Es como una palomita, creo yo. Blah, blah. Okay, so we're gonna see we're going to see about vocabulary, right? So maybe you know in Spanish, right? So we're going to see what's coming now. It's over here, right? That's what you saw. Wow. It, it is not a little bird, right? It, it was, it, it's an elephant. It's an elephant. So that was the first, people. That was the example. So you need to identify the animal, okay? Are you ready with the second one? Yes, no? Anyways, let us go over it. Okay, what do you see? What do you see? What do you see? Is this, oh my goodness, it goes too fast. You didn't see anything? No? Hello, hello, nothing? Antes, yo creo que Daniel tal vez se recuerda, pero antes vendía en el periódico este, una cuestión que se llama tridimanía, parece que le decían. Mm. Y que cae que todo El Salvador andaba con los ojos cruzados tratando de verlo. De, de Berenice, el... no, está muy jovencita Berenice. <risa> ya que así como Daniel y que estamos un poco más grandecitos y como yo, pues nosotros sí nos acordamos que casi se nos tuercen los ojos. 
tratando de... Ok, something like that is this, right? So, nothing, people, no, no se ve nada. No. Una paloma. Ah, ok. It's a bird. It's a bird. It's a bird. Now, keep it in mind because I have, there is another, another uh, I mean, exercise later on. Remember that you are going to teach how to do in origami. Acuérdense que nos van a dar instrucciones de, del origami que ustedes crearon. Next. What do you, this is very easy, right? What do you see there? It's a horse. I know, yes, right? It's a <laughs> horse. Okay. Very simple, right? It's a horse. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, how do you say montar a caballo in English? <clears throat> I got you, right? So you need to be ready. You ride a motorcycle, you ride a bicycle, you ride a, a, a camel, and you ride a, a horse also. Right, ride a horse, right. Okay, next one, be ready, please. That's a very easy one. What do you see something there? Some people even eat it. Hay gente que se las come. Dicen que son deliciosas. Yo creo que es un fruit. Fruit? Fruit? Como piña o algo así? No. No. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Como que fuera, como que fuera aguacate. No, but sa. It's a frog. It's a frog. All right. It's a frog. Frog jump. Well, okay. Next one. What do you see there? It's a lion. It's a lion. lion. Okay. It's a lion. Let's see if it's a lion. Well, actually, ah, 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 now, now that you say lion, eh, <laughs> si hubiese dicho leona, tal vez, porque en realidad no se identifica muy bien, ¿verdad? Porque las leonas parecen así, pero lion es el macho, lion. lioness is the, is the, eh, the female, ¿ok? Lioness, lion, lioness, ¿ok? Let's go over the name, what do you see there? <laughs> Rino, it's a rino. Ah, uh, but you forgot the pronunciation about it? You forgot the pronunciation about this? Rinos, rinos. Uh -huh. So, it's a, it's a rhino, right? Rhino, rhino. Yeah, ya vamos a ver rhino. qué tan difíciles son los que nos van a enseñar ustedes ahora. A ver si alguien <laughs> se anima con el rhino. A ver quién, quién se aprendió a hacer esto. Let's go. Ah, what do you see there? Lion. 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 <laughs> lion. <laughs> lion. <laughs> this is a lion. This is a lion. Oh, it's a lion. Pretty good. Now, tonight is the night for origami people. Let's go with this. Ah, this is very easy also. Fish, fish. <laughs> okay, really good. Now, something that 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 you need to that you need to take advantage about it that you say. Esto es un podemos hacer plural con este diciendo a fish ten fish ten fish. Esto no cambia. Okay, so that's something cu curious. Okay, now let's see. Let's go over there. What do you see there? What do you see there? Don't see. You don't see. No, you don't see. Give me a second. Rubbish. That's a rubbish? Tortuga. Tortuga. Uh, it's not a rubbish, but it's a rabbit, right? <laughs> All right. The rabbit is, is something that's something different, right? It's a rabbit. Okay, we're almost done. I think we're almost done. A very, very simple, right? Butterfly. It's a butterfly. It's a butterfly, right? It's a butterfly. And over here. Sheep. 
It's a dog. It's a dog? Some, yeah. Someone said a sheep? Yeah. It's a lynx. <laughs> hey, that's actually, yeah, it seems to be like that, right? Uh huh. What do you see yeah. there? Ah, uh, this is this is very easy. What, what do you see there? Huh? Cat. That's a cat. <laughs> I don't know if you love cats. Okay, uh, the cats are cute. Okay, over here. Seems to be like. Seems to be. Huh? It's a dog or a way or, or a dog. That's a dog. That's a dog, right? Very good. And we're almost done with it. I think we're gonna giraffe. try to finish. That's a giraffe. Very giraffe. good. It's a giraffe. What do you see over here? That, okay. That's a hippo. Hippo, right? That's a hippopotamus. Hippo. Over right here? Ah, uh, I remember about a class we had with this one. Are you an early bird or a? Bow. Bow. Uh, uh, okay, now you remember, oh. right? An owl. All right, so oh. now. Over right here? This vocabulary that we have been studying, right? What is it? Bear. Bear. It's a bear. Bear. All right. And I think we are almost done. There are too many, right? And this one, it's, it's, is that a camel? Camel. Yeah, it is, right? This is a camel. camel. And I think we're going to... Ah, this is very simple, right? Mouse. It's a mouse or a mouse. rat, right? Now, this is, this is also a, an irregular... Yeah, it's a mouse. mouse. This is also yeah. an irregular plural. Como dicen ratones en inglés? Mice. Mice. Mice, right? Plural. Irregular. Okay, that's irregular in bueno, that way. Okay, so, well, over here, we're going to try to finish because I don't remember how many they are. This is a turkey, you see? Ah, that was the last one. All right. So well, just for you to get keep uh to to be familiarized with the activity that we're developing tonight. Okay, now yes, we're gonna let, let's get down to business. We're gonna go over the activities that we usually uh develop in the class. Okay. So if we have enough time, we're going to work a little bit in the midterm, just in case, right? Just in case because we have a lot of work to do now. Okay, yesterday we were talking about the expression need to, oops, what did I do? Need to and have to, right? Hey, what happened? I closed it, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, but I closed it. Sorry, people. It's over here. Let's get down to the platform itself. This is module number two, section number two, ongoing activities at the workplace. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was, yeah, it's over here. Right? So, yeah, it's number eight. Okay, so yesterday we were talking about have to, has to, need to, needs to. Okay, so in the first sentence, in the first sentence, we have my mother. What is this? First person, second person, third person. What is it? Third person. Third person, third person singular, right? Person. So if we have third person singular, uh, we can use has to or needs to. Yes or no? Needs to. No, so. but I, yeah. So it may be one of, one of these, right? But if I say has to, is, is it all right? Grammaticalmente, has to? Podría ir ahí? Yes. Yeah. Needs to? Yes. Yes, yes right. So both of them. Gramat si, si nosotros elegimos gramaticalmente cualquiera de las dos, 
y, y el teacher nos está evaluando la gramática, entonces cualquiera de las dos está bien. Pero aquí hay algo más. She doesn't have red shoes. She doesn't have red shoes. So, oh, somehow this expression tells us about the one that's the most suitable. Okay, what's the meaning of the word suitable, people? Let's learn a new word. Suitable. What is that? Uh, give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. I like this one. Now, what's the meaning of the word suitable? Did you get it? Hello, hello. Did you get the meaning of, of, of the word suitable? Es adecuado. Ah, okay. So now, yes, right. So my, which is the most suitable? Number one or number two? Number two. So my mother needs. Okay. So, but... Why does why does she need to go to shopping? Why does she need to go shopping? Now listen to the question, right? Hey, why my mother need <coughs> what why does she need to go shopping? Because she doesn't have a red shoes. Uh, because she is she's going to buy, okay, uh, because she she um doesn't have red shoes and she will get some. Okay, excellent. A pair of shoes, a pair of red shoes. Pretty good. Okay, so number two. I, first person, second person, third person. Where is I? First person. First person, singular. Now, I can say I need to and I have to. Can, I can have I, to. I mean, but can I use both of them? ¿Puedo usarlos gramaticalmente hablando? Ambos con I, I need to, I have to. Yes. Yes, right. So no problem. Entonces quiere decir que vamos a encontrar la respuesta en lo demás. I study for the English exam, que es, que es ahora, ¿verdad? To get my American scholarship. Now, what does the person uh, want? What does the person want? What does, what does the person want? ¿Qué es lo que lo quiere la persona? To get... Obtenerlo. His American scholarship. That's what he wants. Okay, so, but in order to get his American scholarship, what does he need? Or what does he has, he have to do? Is it an obligation or a necessity? <clears throat> what is the most suitable? I have. I have. I have two. Obligation, right? Necessity, uh uh. Obligation. Okay, pretty good. Now, number three, you don't, you don't have to, you don't need to. Okay, this is lack of obligation, right? Yesterday, I think we, we started this. Yeah, you don't get up early if you don't want. If you don't want, it's the key, right? Over here. So what is the best option? Do you have to or you need to? Uh, you, you, you don't have to or you don't need to? You don't have to. Uh, you don't have to? You don't have to get up early if you don't want. Okay. So lack of obligation. Let's see. Number four. Later, we're going to, uh, we're going to analyze in case... We, we need to go deeply in um in a specific example. They eat right now. I'm hey, what, what's the meaning of this word, people? Starving. Starving. Hambriento. Okay. okay, pretty good. When you're starving, you can eat an elephant, right? But not a, a, not, a, a, a origami elephant, right? Hmm. Okay. 
they need to or they have to eat right now? Have to. I need to. I need to. Okay, Daniel say I have to. Obligation, Daniel. You know, the person is starving. Necessary. It's necessary. It's necessary to eat. Need okay. To. We will see, okay? And I think this is the last one. Prepare a document prepare a document for my boss. We uh, need to uh, or we have to uh, no, obligation. Have to. Obligation, right? Obligation. We we're we gonna send it. Well, actually, I will send mine. Ya lo enviaron ustedes también en la plataforma. Ya lo hicieron. Okay, very good. Para que quede registrado. Okay, my mother. Okay, can somebody read the first sentence, please? Anybody in the group? My mother needs to go shopping. She doesn't have red shoes. Excellent. Pretty good. Number two. I had to study for the English exam to get my American uh, scholarship. Scholarship. All right. Now, remember, uh, people, remember, scholarship. you start with a sound. Study, study, scholarship. Yeah. Uh, estoy exagerando, ¿verdad? Con ese All right. Now, number three. Number three, someone in the group. You don't, you don't have to get up early if you don't want. All right, Daniel, remember, get up. Get up. Read it again, please, Daniel. You don't have to get up early if you don't want. If you don't want, good. Number four. <laughs> They, they need they, to eat right now. I am starving. They need to eat it right now. I'm starving. In the number five. We have to prepare a document for my boss. Excellent, pretty good. So we got a 10 in here. Now, any question? Hope, hope everything's all right with this exercise. And uh, let me see, what else do I have about it? Just before getting into, okay. Now we're gonna do something here. Yeah. Well, just just for you to see it in context, okay. Need to and have to, right? So yesterday we were we were talking about the importance of 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 reading um quite well, right? Pronunciation. Do you remember about it? What was the one? I don't remember exactly. This is the one that we were practicing, right? Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna go over this now. Pronunciation, people, read this, please. Anybody in the group? Anybody in the group, please. Pronunciation, please. Dear, dear Guadalupe. Aha. I can try. Please. Okay. Dear Guadalupe, these are some of the tags for this month. I really need to you contact the first three potential customers in the list from Mr. Sanchez. You have three days to do it three hours each day. Cocktail night clients, 
for the last three weeks and give the then catalog information of June. You have two days to do it, one hour each day. It's very important to send his to last sales report on my 26th and they write a new welcome letter for the new customers. And you have one to do it for hours. And finally, visit the two stories in Santa Tecla. You have two days to do it. Two hours each day. Organize your week. Thank you. Best regards, right? Thank you. Excellent. Now I will ask somebody else to read it again because I need to see the way uh, you are reading information. Okay, please. Um, Aníbal, do me the favor to read it. Aníbal, Aníbal, are you there? Uh, teacher, estoy de oyente nada más porque estoy ocupado en el trabajo. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Thanks for letting me know. Okay, thanks for letting me know. Now let's see, volunteers then. Can, can somebody read the info? Somebody else? Let me see. I will I will choose someone else. Edgar, please. Well, let, let's let's see. Well, whenever you see like there are there are some words, right? Like if you look for for this uh, word, what's the meaning, people? What's the meaning if you see this word? Three, three, three. three. Very similar, right? Three, 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 three. Yeah. How do you say this this word? Each each day, right? Each day, each day. What about this one? Late. Latest, 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 latest sales reports. This one. Twenty sixth. Six. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I exaggerate. What about this? Store. 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 Stores. Stores. Okay, Store. now let me Store. see. Store. Aníbal says he's a listener. Hi, tengo. Okay, Jonathan. Okay. Oh, sorry to nobody, Jonathan. I hope you can solve it soon. I cannot do anything against it. <laughs> Hopefully you don't you don't have any trouble there. Now, uh, very important, right? Remember, uh, pronunciation extremely important. Yesterday we solved this exercise, and um, there is a conversation over here. But but uh, before going into the this this exercise, well. Let's go first with this part. Now, do you remember about this? About these exercises? Well, I I got one that says my daily schedule. Listen and read. Daily schedule. Listen and read. So now we're going to do something with have to and need to. Okay, you are going to imagine you are the person that uh, that is um, describing his daily schedule. You know the daily schedule, right? Daily schedule. I wake up. You know, you, you know, you know the meaning of a daily schedule, right? Yes or no? Daily schedule refers to the activities you do during the day, but they are scheduled as the word schedule is say, say it, right? So over here, you're gonna listen to the hair presentation, you will read the information, 
And later, well, you need to imagine that you are that person. Okay? Se van a imaginar que ustedes son los que están describiendo sus actividades establecidas. Schedule quiere decir establecido en un horario específico. ¿Ok? Recuérdense que esta noche es de mucha práctica. Ok, so, the person, I will play the track. Yo lo, yo lo, vamos a escucharlo, permítanme, solo voy a, a verificar. Sí, ok. Now, do you see do you see the information, people? Yes, no? Yes, I see. Uh, okay, can you listen? Daily schedule. I wake up. Can you listen yes. clearly? Yes, I listen. Okay, yeah. now. Now, yes, okay. I will play the track. You will remember. The activity is for you to imagine. La actividad es para que usted se imagine que usted es el que está describiendo eh, sus actividades. Ahora, después de que lo escuchemos, usted va a colocar en cualquier parte del párrafo por qué lo tiene que hacer o por qué no lo tiene que hacer o por qué necesita hacerlo o por qué no necesita hacerlo. ¿Ok? Need to and have to. So, we're going to work with it. ¿Está claro lo que vamos a hacer? Y ya luego nos van a compartir su versión. Bueno, les voy a compartir, compartir el enlace por si alguien lo quiere estar eh, manipulando directamente. Eh, se lo voy a colocar en el chat. No tengo activado el WhatsApp, pero más tarde lo voy a activar y se lo voy a compartir ahí. Okay, so this is the activity. So li listen and read. Primero vamos a leer, vamos a, a leer, vamos a escuchar. Y el que quiera pronunciar en casa, hágalo. Y después vamos a desarrollar la actividad como ya se la dije. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah, here we yes, go. Here we go. Here we go. Daily schedule. I wake up every morning at 7 o'clock. I take a shower. I eat my breakfast. I usually have toast or cereal. I brush my teeth. I put on my clothes. I catch the school bus. I ride to school. In my class, we have math and English before recess. At recess time, the girls skip or walk around and talk. The boys okay, play in the second. playground or second. play baseball. Give me a second. Give me a second. After recess... I, th I think it's better if we read it from here. Okay, ya vi que no está completo en, en la parte inferior. Mejor lo vamos a ir leyendo desde acá. Okay, now listen and read. Read and listen to. Daily schedule. I wake up every morning at 7 o'clock. I take a shower. I eat my breakfast. I usually have toast or cereal. I brush my teeth. I put on my clothes. I catch the school bus. I ride to school. In my class... We have math and English before recess. At recess time, the girls skip or walk around and talk. The boys play in the playground or play baseball. After recess, we have physical education and geography. We eat lunch and then we play outside. When the bell rings, we line up to go back into the classroom. After lunch, we have history and science. At recess, We play ball again. Some of the girls play ball too. In the winter, we build snowmen. If it is too cold, we stay indoors and talk to each other. After recess, we have music and health. We get out of school at 3.30. I sometimes walk home with my friends, or I take the bus. I have a snack and change my clothes when I get home. If it is raining, I watch television. If it is nice outside, I play with my friends. I have supper at 5.30. On some nights, I help my mother to do the dishes. After supper, I do my homework. I wash my face and hands and brush my teeth. I change into my pajamas. I go to bed at 9 o'clock. All right, so 
That is that is the listening, right? And also you have this the 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 transcript over here, right? So you have all of them. So in order to take advantage of time, you can copy and paste. Pueden copiarlo y pegarlo en el documento Word que siempre trabaja. Ahorita no quiero enfocarme en que estén escribiendo todo esto. Entonces, solo en esto se nos va a ir todo. Ni siquiera lo vamos a terminar. Entonces, copienlo. Copy the information. Paste it in the, in the Word document. Lo pegan en el documento Word. Y hacen su propia versión. ¿Ok? Utilizando... Lo que hemos venido estudiando. Si quieren incluir want to and like to, eh, you can do it. But let us focus our attention in have to, need to. Okay? And also, something that I would really appreciate is that if you can add something uh, related to third person singular would be really nice. Okay? Porque veo que acá prácticamente, pues, si no encuentran tercera persona singular, ustedes lo pueden, lo pueden adaptar. Ok, so let us do it now. How much, how much time we're going to spend with this? Well, let us work on it. Let us work on it. Um, 12 minutes would be enough, right? 12 to 15. De 12 a 15 minutos vamos a invertir en esto. ¿Ok? Cuando termine, recuérdense que no es tan, no es tan, tan sencillo porque no sé que solo le vamos a agregar have to, need to, want to. No. Tenemos que esforzarnos por verificar pronunciación. Si yo no, no sé qué significa esto, lo busco. Si no sé cómo se pronuncia esto, lo busco. Porque al final, recuérdense que lo van a leer y van a tratar de leerlo mmm, utilizando la pronunciación correcta. Ok, 15 minutos, people. 15 minutos, los dejo trabajando. Any question? ¿Alguna pregunta? Hello, hello. Questions, people, about what we're doing? Is everything all right? ¿Todo está bien? ¿Es clear? Hello. Can somebody help me, please? Hello. No question. Okay, no questions. Okay, try to do your best. Traten de hacer. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Maribel, do you have any eh, Estoy en, en oyente, pero también estoy haciendo tareas de mi trabajo, y, pero también estoy con usted. Okay. Yo ahorita... Necesito que me diga cómo despliego esas preguntas porque lo estoy buscando y no, le, no lo puedo sacar. Eh, ¿Es, esa, esas preguntas que usted ha puesto ahí. Ah, ¿cómo las pero, pero sí ya abrió la página. Sí, ya la abrí en la computadora, pero no la puedo desplegar. Eh, váyase aquí a la parte donde dice script. Aquí hay una parte. Eh, sí. Well, no translation. This is... There was over here. Es que ya, ya no me la mostró. Hay una parte donde dice script. Ah, creo que está hasta el final. Está hasta el final. Related. Oh, well, give me a second. Hay una parte donde dice. Es que es una, un botoncito que dice show transcript. Eh, sí, uh, show transcript. I wake up every morning. Yeah, give me a second. Give me a second. I will try it. I will try it again so that you can see it. Don't worry. Don't panic. <laughs> yeah, don't panic. Everything's okay. Now over here. Show transcript. Y puede eso lo envió en el WhatsApp también. Mm, fíjese, ahorita no tengo activado WhatsApp. ¿Lo necesita en el WhatsApp? Sí, porque me voy a meter a WhatsApp porque si me abro, es que tengo abierta varias páginas ahorita. Ah, ok. So, give me a second then. Voy a, voy a dejar de compartir, voy a activar el WhatsApp para los que lo necesiten ahí, ok. Los demás, 
manténganse trabajando, por favor. 15 minutos a partir de este momento. 15 máximo. Ya lo compartí. ¿Ya lo compartieron en el grupo? Sí. Uf, me salvaron. Pero igual voy a activar mi WhatsApp por cualquier otra necesidad que surja. Ok, do me the favor to keep working on that. Remember, you have 15 minutes. 15 people. Traten de estar 100% concentrados. Daily schedule. I wake up every morning at 7 o'clock. I take a shower. I wake up every morning at 7 o'clock. I take a shower. I eat my breakfast. I take a shower. I take a shower. I take a shower. I wake up every Every morning at seven o'clock, I take a shower, I eat my breakfast, I usually have toast or cereal, I brush my teeth, I put on my clothes, I catch the school bus, I go to school. In my class, we have math and English before recess. At recess time, the girls skip or walk around and talk. The boys play in the playground or play baseball. After recess, We have physical education and geography. We eat lunch, and then we play outside. When the bell rings, we line up to go back into the classroom. After lunch, we have history and science. At recess, we play ball again. Some of the girls play ball too. In the winter, we build snowmen. If it is too cold, we stay indoors and talk to each other. After recess, we have music and health. We get out of school at 3.30. I sometimes walk home with my friends, or I take the bus. I have a snack and change my clothes when I get home. If it is raining, I watch television. If it is nice outside, I play with my friends. I have supper at 5.30. On some nights, I help my mother to do the dishes. After supper, I do my homework. I wash my face and hands and brush my teeth. I change my pajamas. I go to bed at nine o'clock. Daily schedule. I wake up every morning at seven o'clock. I take a shower. I eat my breakfast. I usually have toast or cereal. I brush my teeth. I put on my clothes. I catch the school bus. I run to school. In my class, we have math and English before recess. At recess time, the girls skip or walk around and talk. The boys play in the playground or play baseball. After recess, we have physical education and geography. We eat lunch and then we play outside. When the bell rings, we line up to go back into the classroom. After lunch, we have history and science. At recess, we play ball again. Some of the girls play ball too. In the winter, we build snowmen. If it is too cold, we stay indoors and talk to each other. After recess, we have music and health. We get out of school at 3.30. I sometimes walk home with my friends, or I take the bus. I have a snack and change my clothes when I get home. If it is raining, 
I watch television. If it is nice outside, I play with my friends. I have supper at 5.30. On some nights, I help my mother to do the dishes. After supper, I do my homework. I wash my face and hands and brush my teeth. I change into my pajamas. I go to bed at 9 o'clock. Remember, you are creating your own version. Están creando su propia versión. Utilizando lo que, lo que hemos venido estudiando. Have to, has to, needs to, need to, don't need to, doesn't need to, doesn't have to, etc.
Okay, a couple of minutes more. Okay, are you ready people? Or do you need some more time? Or you need some more time? How much time do you need? ¿Cuánto tiempo más podemos dedicarle a esta actividad? Un día más. No. Para terminar la ya, yeah, es que no es que lo van a cambiar todo, recuerden que no, solo van a, van a hacer su propia versión. Cada oración, si usted dice, no, esto lo dejo así, esto lo dejo así, pero aquí lo voy a cambiar aquí, aquí lo voy a cambiar allá, con respecto a, a lo que hemos estudiado, por supuesto. Ok, five minutes, ¿les parecen cinco minutos más o muy poco? Five minutes? Tal vez unas diez de ahí. <risa> ok, no, claro. Es que ustedes pueden... Yo los que les pedí hagan su propia versión. Pueden recortar, okay, pueden, pueden quitar, pueden poner, pueden... Lo que necesito es su propia versión en donde coloquen lo que hemos venido estudiando. Ok. So, I will give you five minutes more. Let's try with five minutes more. Tratemos a ver cómo nos queda con cinco minutos más en esta actividad. Y de ahí sí me, me van a leer la versión que ustedes crearon, ¿ok? Ok, five minutes. I think five would be enough.
All right. Now I think time was enough. Okay. Now I will ask for the volunteers. No se preocupen. Solo voy a preguntar por voluntarios. Okay. I need volunteers to share what you got. Que nos, que nos compartan lo que, lo que hicieron. Okay. Recuérdense cuando, uh, cuando se abren esa puerta de, de pedir voluntarios, creo que es muy bueno que todos toquen, que todos, que todos tengan ese deseo de, pues, bueno, me equivoco, pero lo hago, ok. Me equivoco, ok, Belén, go ahead. Ok, um, I I wake up uh, very early, around 5.30 a.m. I take a shower and then I need to cook my breakfast. I usually have a coffee with me, eggs, yogurt with milk, or cereal. I brush my teeth. I put on my coat. Also, I put my hair and makeup. Then I dry to work. I have to visit a store in the country. Um, I have several meetings during the day. I need to have my lunch at uh, 1 p.m. After lunch, I like to drink coffee because it makes me living. I have to, to visit a more store in the afternoon to finally finish my day. When I get home, I put more for my family. And after English class, I got it. You, hey, that was quite good. And you forgot to include the, the most important sentence. No se le va a olvidar incluir la, la, la oración más importante en su, en, en, en su historia. I have to do the homework, the English uh, activities in the platform. <laughs> Okay, no, no se les olvide ponerla ahí al final. Okay, I have to do the homework. Okay. Okay, another great participant. Otro valiente. Otra jovencita valiente. ¿Quién dijo miedo? No one, right? Okay, go ahead. Okay, let's let's try, please, people. You know, time is quite it's quite important to take advantage of time. I'm reading my uh, thank you, Veronica. Thank you. Yeah. And I have to wake up every day at 6 a.m. o'clock. I prepare the breakfast for my son and sit at 3 a.m. and get out of the house for catch the school bus. And then I need to prepare for a coffee cup and start my shift. At 7 a.m., I take a shower in my break. And I then have a meeting with my boss at 11 o'clock a.m. And before I need to eat with my mother and my son. And my mother prepared to the lunch. When I did finish my shift day, I have to study English to be ready at 8 p.m. And I finish my day at 10 p.m. <laughs> have you forgot the most important sentence, right? I have to do the <laughs> the activities in the platform. I have to I have to do the the homework assignment that the teacher assigns every single night. Este teacher fija que todas las noches nos deja tarea. All right. So here we go. That was quite good, Berenice. Hey, la verdad que me quito el sombrero con, ese, con esas actividades que ustedes eh, están realizando. Le dan este... ¿Cómo les digo? Aparte de que ustedes están utilizando lo que hemos estudiado, el, el párrafo ha sido creado... Eh, y se entiende perfectamente las ideas están eh, está muy bien estructurado ok I really love that ok anybody else anybody else todavía tenemos unos minutitos antes de pasar a la otra actividad 
Ok, vamos a esperar tres minutos y si no aparece nadie más en esos tres minutos, les va a quedar de tarea. O sea, necesito ver que, que, que han hecho esa actividad. Y a lo mejor pues lo comparten en el, en el, en el grupo de WhatsApp, ¿verdad? El día de mañana, a modo que nosotros lo podamos escuchar. Okay, two minutes in case there are some people who want to participate. Okay, no one else? No. Well, keep it in mind then that, you, that you're in charge of developing that activity and share it uh, with everybody. Uh, you, can, you can do both, I mean, you can do either. You can share the, the activity that you have in the Word document or you can read it. Ok, le pueden tomar una foto a, a lo que hicieron, compartirlo en el grupo, o pueden pues, grabar un audio y compartirlo siempre en el grupo. Lo importante es que practiquen, esa es la intención. Recuerden que esta noche eh, las actividades han sido diseñadas para practicar. Ok, now we're going to do something, people. Vamos a hacer algo, voy a hacer, vamos a tener un repaso de lo que hemos estado estudiando y después de ese repaso, ustedes... Como prepararon una actividad, ¿verdad? ¿Se recuerdan que yo les pedí que prepararan una actividad que estuvieran más que listos? Eh, pues después de esto, ahora sí, vamos a tratar que todos participen. Todos, ¿ok? Para este, que todos tomemos ventaja de la práctica. Ok, so, para darles tiempo en lo que ustedes preparan esa actividad, pues quiero que, que, que presten atención al repaso que, que les tengo por acá. Luego, automáticamente nos vamos a las actividades que ustedes eligieron compartir con nosotros. All right. So here we go. Now, yesterday we were talking. Yesterday we were talking about how to, has to, need to, want to, like to. And, well, I saw that uh, the people who participated in uh, creating the story used all, uh, I mean, most of the, the expression that we have been studying lately. Now, what is what is what is it going to be all about? And actually, over here we are going to uh, see some extra information. Okay, now for obligation, you know that there are certain words, right? Yesterday we saw must, have to. Okay, those are for obligation, but there are some others. Okay, we're gonna study them tonight. Uh, need to, that's not an obligation, but you know, it's a necessity. It's necessary to do something there. Be obliged to, be compelled to, be forced to, okay? Need to, be obliged to, be compelled to, and be forced to. Now, these are expressions that you can use in order to um give the idea of obligation, right? Obligation and necessity. Now, yesterday also I told you about affirmative sentences, right? Affirmative that we have affirmative sentences, we have negative sentences, and we also have interrogative sentences. Now, and I told you about the way we use those verbs. Are you with they? need to, I need to, you need to, we need to, and they need to. He, she, it needs to, needs to, right? Uh, we, we need to, example, that now this is a direct example. We need to brush our teeth three times a day. We need to, okay? So uh, can we use, we have to brush our teeth lo podemos cambiar a we have to. 
En lugar de decir we need to, lo podemos cambiar a we have to. Yes or no? Yes. 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 In, in which situation? Se, sería lo mismo que si yo digo, hey, we, we have to brush our teeth three times a day. Tendría el mismo mm. significado de we need to brush our teeth three times a day. Think a little no, bit. No, no, no. No, right. It's because if you say we have to, si utilizamos we have to, es porque alguien nos está demandando que debemos hacer. A lo mejor esta oración la hizo la, o, la, o la, la, la hizo un niño. Un niño. Okay, do me the favor, people, please. Eh, okay. Now, a lo mejor es un niño que dice o oh, son, digamos, tres niños en una familia que dice, we need to brush our teeth three times a day. Okay? Uh, but if we say we have to, we have to, es porque a lo mejor los papás los están obligando. Okay? Tenemos que lavarnos nuestros dientes tres veces al día. We need to, es necesario porque es necesario tener una limpieza vocal. ¿Ok? O a lo mejor usted fue al dentista y el dentista le dejó que, um, le dijo que era necesario. ¿Ok? So it all depends on the context. That's what I want you to notice. ¿Ok? Now. Let's go to the next part. Well, she needs to brush her teeth three times a day. Now, need, we need, she needs. I need, he needs. Uh, they need, he needs, etc. Right, so we started that yesterday. We also have negative statements, and, and we started that in the in the PDF, right? So the negative statements, negative statements are the ones in which we're gonna use uh, don't or doesn't, and that means lack of necessity. If they don't have to, lack of obligation. I don't need to. You don't need to, we don't need to, etc. He, she, it doesn't need to. Something that uh, somebody told uh, during the class is that the verb will remain the same, right? So what, what changes is the auxiliary. Don't, doesn't. So when we use doesn't, we already know that we are talking about third person singular. We don't need to, to eat junk food all the time. She doesn't need to eat junk food all the time. So you, you can also say, I, I don't have to. Uh, she doesn't have to. It is not an obligation. Right? Interrogative sentences, this is, I mean, questions. We can create questions with, with this expression, sure. How come? Well, the thing is that you need to include the auxiliary first at the beginning, right? So you have do at the beginning, or you have does at the beginning, then you have the 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 subject, and after the, the subject you need need to, right? Need. Do you need, do you need to work in the morning? Do you have to work in the morning? Okay, do. Does he need to go to work tomorrow? Does he need? Okay, so questions we have with this expression. Do we need to eat junk food all the time? Yes, we do. No, we, we don't. Does she need to eat junk food all the time? Yes, she does. Or no, she doesn't. We have started a lot about simple present, and actually this is, these are two expressions or two verbs that we use in simple present tense, right? So, but you need to notice that one means necessity and the other one obligation. And also, if you if you use, for example, have, that 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 verb can mean possession, right? I have two dollars. I have, I have, um, I have a a backpack. I have a laptop, etc. So that's position, right? 
need to well you will see something that this called passive voice but that this is going to be for uh, uh intermediate english you will see something about passive form in intermediate and advanced esto de voz pasiva lo van a ver en, en niveles más altos pero yo se los quise colocar acá para que vean cómo funciona de alguna manera my bike mi bicicleta needs hey my bike if i say my bike if I say my bike, and I say need third person, right? Needs to be what? Needs to be repaired. Mi bicicleta necesita ser reparada. Okay? No se fijen ahorita mucho en la estructura, solo son... Eh, a mí me gusta despertar como, digamos, uh, ideas para cuando ustedes se enfrenten a este tipo de de estructura, pues ya no se sorprendan mucho. My bot, my bot needs repair. You can say so also. Your room needs to be clean. Needs to be clean. Your room needs cleaning. You can say it in both ways. Be obliged and be compelled. Be forced to. So we have more over there, more vocabulary. Now we have I'm, um, your, he, she, it's, we, you, and they. That is the simple form of the verb to be, okay? I'm obliged to, soy obligado a, I'm compelled to, I'm forced to, and the same, all of them mean uh, obligation, right? So I'm obliged to, but if you if you notice over here, this is an adjective, obliged to, et cetera. You, we can also say like, they're allowed to attend classes every day. He is compelled to attend classes every day. I'm forced to attend classes every day. We are just seeing some inf extra information about using um, ideas on uh, about obligation. They all mean the same. Now, as you can see, they are allowed, he is compelled, and uh, I'm forced. All of them mean the same. Master have to, but they make an obligation stronger. Um, they're obliged to attend classes. Yeah, that's right. So, okay, that's all for now. That's all for now. Now, yes, we're going to go over the, the practice. Any question about this? Ahora sí, ya hicimos el repaso. Preguntas? Well, okay, so I will start with the, with the next part. Ahora sí, todos listos, por favor. Todos, todos, todos listos con su actividad. Pueden ocupar, eh, pueden compartir pantallas, siempre y cuando este, no vayan a compartir, digamos, videos de YouTube o algo pues, que nos vaya a perjudicar nuestra clase y ya no la podamos subir. Eso sí, se lo voy a pedir de favor. Eh, Irán. Hello, teacher. Hello, Aidan. Go ahead with the activity you prepared for tonight. Solo quiero recapitular. Eh, la tarea de hoy era lo del origami. No, esa va a ser, esa la pueden utilizar para el día de mañana, que es más general. Lo de ahora es solo have to, need to. Lo más significativo esta noche es have to, need to. Lo demás que yo he ido colocando es solo para que ustedes enriquezcan su vocabulario. Esa, okay. ah, pues, no, teacher, este, no, no la trabajé. No. Solamente, solo, sí, trabajé, pero la de origami. Origami. Sí, me confundí ahí en eso. O ok. Ok, so try to get one now, Aidan. Let's see. Daniel. Hello. Hello, hello. Bueno, si hice algunas expresiones con how to y need, need to se las voy a leer con how to um, I have to start working before at 8 a.m. I have to check in at work no sé si así se dice que uno tiene que marcar la entrada obligatoriamente I have to wear formal clothes from Monday to Thursday I don't have to wear formal clothes on Fridays. 
I have to lock the door. Con need to, I need to sleep eight hours a day. I need a, a little help with my homework. I need to take some vacation. She needs to take her medicine. He needs to buy black shoes. I need to eat at 11, uh, 12 o'clock. I need to close the door. Okay. okay. Thank you, Tanya. Thank you very much. Uh... Well, we have Daniel, Aiden, uh, Aníbal. Is in there. Where? It's in the chat. Uh, in the WhatsApp group? In the chat, it's que que estoy trabajando. Ah, yeah, that's right. I'm so sorry. That's an email, right? Thank you. Uh, Belen? I'm sorry, people. Not ready, Belen? No. Oh, okay, try to get one just now, please. Eh, Berenice. I'm a little thing. That is a simple. Well, and I have to, that remember is an obligation. That is como que otra persona nos lo está diciendo a nosotros. Uh, an example is, I have to eat more fruit, but my doctor told me to do it. And and I need to is a necessity. Uh, for example, I need to know the client's short name because uh, you were well, the hospital and the secretary tell you oh, what is your last name. And the doctor say, I I really know the the short name's client. Okay, thank you, Veronica. Thank you very much. Then we have, let's see, hey, Claudia. Go ahead, Claudia. Hi, teacher. Hello, hello. Hola, teacher. Estoy de oyente, estoy en oficina. Okay, I'm sorry, forgot it. Okay, thank you for letting me know. Then we have Edgar. Sentence using need to. For example, she needs to work her seat every day. I need to go exercise to have good home. I have to work from Monday to Friday. Only this dish. Okay, enough. Thank you, Edgar. Gladys? No. Um... Yo hice eh, algunas actividades usando el have to y el don't have to. Bueno, las hice en afirmativo y negativo. And I have to wear a uniform in the work. I don't have to wear a uniform in the work. I have to arrive early for a meeting. meeting. I don't have to arrive early for a meeting. I have to write a solace report. I don't have to write a solace report. She 
has to attend a labor efficient seminar. Y use need, need to. And she need to go to the doctor. He need to go to the beach. I need to eat pizza for lunch. I need to drink a, a very cold natural choice. And finish. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Gladys. Thank you. Thank you. Then we have Jonathan. Hello, Jonathan. Are you ready? Well, let, let us try with Maria. Maria, help us, please. Okay, it's all right. I have a uh, example. I had to be a war. Um, También, eh, como you have to pay a fine, is your house is paying? Un ejemplo como que alguien te lo está diciendo. And I need to, and children need to play because that is how they're living. And I need to pay my medicines or I will be. And all animal needs to eat. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. That was quite good. I can see that you're improving pronunciation, fluency, and this kind of activities is quite good so that you can practice. Good. Uh, Cristobal? Michael? Yes, teacher. Okay, Michael, go ahead. Uh, I like to learn, I like to learn English. I have to get up very early daily. My mom needs to speak with me. I want to kneel, I want to read a book of my English. I want to arrive early at my work daily. My coworker need to work much weekly. I don't like to math. I want to prepare coffee at Aries. That's all this. Is. Okay, thank you very much. Hey, I'm sorry not to know about your situation, hey, Cristobal. I understand. Okay, don't worry. Take it easy. Uh, then we have Norma. Okay, Veraliz wants to participate. Go ahead, Veraliz. I don't read it. Ah, uh, uh, no, Aidan is the one that wants to participate. Okay, Aidan, go ahead. Thank you, teacher. Um, tengo algunas eh, oraciones que hice respecto a I need, bueno, need to y have to. I need to uh, take a vacation. I need to close the door. I need to take a breakfast. I need I need to go buy of the supermarket. I have I have to study English. I have to work. I have to set an example for my children. 
I have to shower in the morning. I have to respect my parents. Finish. Great. I have to respect my parents. Good. I like that sentence. Thank you. Then let us listen to Oscar. Teacher, yo sobre todo con had to hice, pero uno, bueno, son oraciones, pero con tres opciones también. Ok. Si gusta, ajá, si gusta ahorita lo envío al grupo para... Ok, that's, that's really good. That's a good idea, Oscar. Ok, meanwhile, Oscar sends that info. We're going to listen to Ronan. Well, hey, Oscar, are you ready? Yes, teacher, I'm ready. Right. Okay, este, okay. Okay. Permítame. Okay, en la primera, en yesterday, I, bueno, lo he hecho con tres literales, como lo repetí. Uh, okay, este. uh, sorry, uh, Oscar, to interrupt. Now, everybody, you have to, it's because I got Oscar's idea. You have to go to the WhatsApp group and see the answers that he has prepared. Okay? In the number one, Oscar. Uh, number one, yesterday I uh, had to clean the house. Yesterday, the, the best option is I have to clean the uh, house. Option three. Option, option three. three. Okay, good. Uh, number two, uh, you had you had to stop smoking smoking uh, option two okay uh, number three uh, do she do she had to work the next weekend option one uh, 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 option one do she or does she no that's she Yes, option, so two. option two, uh -huh. right? Does she yeah, have yeah. to work? Does she have does she have to work next weekend? Good. Thank you, Oscar. Go ahead with number four, please. Uh, my um pupils pupils are yeah. pupils? Pupils. 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 pupils had to do their homework or they not bad. Okay. Uh, option two. Uh number five. Uh, anyway, you had to write on the left. Option one. Hey, that was quite good. That was really nice. Okay, so you 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 did the you did the activity and then you automatically know the way to solve it. So that's a a, a good idea, right? Thank you, Oscar. Thank you. A different activity, right? So it, I really like that. Let me see, Teresa. Well, now is, is there anybody else who wants to participate in this activity? Otherwise, we're going to do... Me, me ah, Belen, go ahead. Thank you. Okay. Um, I have to go to the new nutritionist because I have been eating a lot of fast food and, and I have to take care of my health. I don't have to drink sodas and I have to drink a lot of water so I don't take meds. Okay, okay. I, I like the example about uh, not eating too much um, fast food, right? Okay, good piece of advice. Also, 
Okay, thank you very much. I really love the way you have been working lately. Eh, cada día, si ustedes se fijan, cada día pues hacen... Eh, 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 yo veo avances. Yo noto avances. Veo avances, escucho avances. Y me, eso me alegra. Me alegra mucho. Creo que a ustedes también. Uh, let me see. We're going to do something. Remember that you have the midterm. Uh, yo voy a pasar lista y ustedes se dedican a trabajar en el midterm. Ok. Eso, vamos a hacer ese repaso el día de mañana. Pero ahora deben determinar es, esa actividad. Trabajenme, por favor, la actividad uh, que, es, que es referente al, al repaso de have to en, 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 en need, en need to, que está en la plataforma, y también al mismo tiempo, si no han terminado su su midterm, háganlo ahora, ahora, antes de cerrar la clase. Todavía tenemos pues casi 20 minutos. ¿no? Okay, yo paso lista y al final, el que termine el, el laboratorio, el examen de esta semana, pone su manita ahí indicándome que ya, que ya lo ha terminado. Ok, Maña, perdón, el sábado yo traslado los resultados de la semana al documento que nos piden cada, cada viernes okay, que estén ahí ok listo tienes Aiden Good. Belén thank you Claudia Ok, Daniel. Present teacher. Maribel. Edgar. I have teacher. Good. Gladys. <clears throat> Present teacher. Good. Jonathan. María Elba. Present, teacher. Eh, Cristóbal, I know Cristóbal is there. No. Berenice. Present, teacher. Michael. Present. Noé. Present. Aníbal. Norma Simara. Present teacher. Ok, thank you. Eh, no, eh. Present teacher. All right. Oscar Antonio. Present teacher. Ronan. Present teacher. Teresa. Vera Liz. Present teacher. Excellent. Now I got a hundred percent once again. Good. Okay, you have in order to work in the midterm and also in the in the exercise in the platform, you have well like 15 minutes from now. Okay, so try to finish it. Yo voy a chequear acá en la plataforma quiénes son los que ya terminaron, ¿ok? Que ya me refleja que tienen prácticamente terminadas las actividades del, um, de la segunda semana.
profe y el mixen es el de la tarea 8 que se llenó al, al principio give me a second I will share, I will share it now so that you can see it ok Norma I got your message and also oh Bernice I'm sorry to know about it Okay, Michael, give me a second, please. Okay, Michael, Michael, you can see that the curse is divided in two, in, in four sections, right? So this belongs to unit number one, unit number two, and oh, here it says midterm. You go to the midterm. Michael. And then the the number of the activity over here will actually you, you are in this part, right? In the midterm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's part one. Pero, oh, ahora es el, el número... Ocho, no. no, I mean, you, you need to finish all of this. This is number one, number two, number three, number four, number... I think that you need to finish all of them this week. I mean, tonight. Right? No sé si está enferma, mamá. Mejor que... Perdón. Eso sí se lo está Ah, ok. Ok. Ah, ok. So, ok. So, entonces, ¿usted tiene dudas con respecto al, al, al ejercicio directamente de, de esta parte? No, este no estaba seguro con él. Ah, ah ok. Let me sí, see. Por... Pero al parecer estamos en la tarea 8. This is about, si no ha completado have to, eh, need to, ok, hay que completar esta, esta tarea, pero la que... La que nos atañe esta noche es donde dice need to practice. Después de ah, esa, okay. tenemos más... Más ejercicios con, okay. con have to and need to. Bueno. Teacher, yo igual ya la terminé, pero no sé si a usted le aparece, porque la vez pasada al parecer como que no le, no le salía como que la había terminado. Va, a, ahorita voy a chequear que ya todos tengan el 100%. Ok. Preguntarle a tu hermana si bajó las cortinas. ¿no? Vale, gracias. Ok, the majority uh, are doing a great job now. La mayoría está casi por completarlo. 
eh, andan como por el 80%, la mayoría. Hay algunos que ya tienen el 100%. Este, hay una persona por ahí que tiene el 20%. Pero la mayoría prácticamente pues está por terminar. Okay, uh, let me know, uh, let me see. Aidan, do, do you want to say something? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, oh, you finished already. Oh, thank you, Aidan. Uh, now, do, do me the favor to clarify something. Yo eso sí no lo puedo visualizar, pero ayúdenme con algo, por favor. En la plataforma, ustedes, el midterm, les aparece que pueden mejorar su porcentaje que lo pueden volver a hacer, las actividades. Sí, sí, se, puede. sí se aparece, se puede. Ah, ok, sí se puede. Ah, gracias por aclararme eso. Se los digo porque hay algunos que pues ya terminaron, pero andan como ahí como por el 60%. Si usted quiere mejorar su porcentaje, acuérdense que eso es acumulado, los porcentajes, y al final le van a dar este un diploma con, con la nota que ustedes han adquirido. Eh, yo les recomiendo que si usted no tuvo el 100%, que lo vuelvan a hacer las actividades a modo de que puedan este, obtener un mejor resultado. Well, we're going to try to, to stop over here and we're going to see what's coming tomorrow, okay? So, esta, esta noche fue de, de práctica. Uh, well, hice un pequeño repaso ahí y coloqué quizás alguna frase más que, que no había mostrado en la clase de ayer. Pero este, si ustedes se dieron cuenta, es, fue, más que todo fue práctica. El día de mañana es también práctica, pero de manera más generalizada. Respecto a la unidad 2, si ustedes van a su PDF, pues ahí van a encontrar muchos ejercicios que ya hemos hecho y algunos que todavía no hemos hecho. Entonces mañana vamos a dedicarnos a completar esos ejercicios y además de eso usted debe preparar nuevamente una actividad en donde nos muestre qué um, ha aprendido de, en, en general de la unidad 2 de la semana 2, si lo quieren ver así. Eso es para el día de mañana. El día de mañana, pues, este, nos presentan también la actividad del origami. Ok. Y, este, si el tiempo nos da, yo hoy les mostré el, el, la presentación de origami porque, pues, quería, quiero, quiero que, este, 
que busquen información de algún animalito en, en específico, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, ¿qué hacen los leones eh, para sobrevivir? ¿Qué es lo que tienen que hacer? Ah, ahí estamos utilizando how to, has to. Es por ponerles un ejemplo, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿Qué es lo que hacen um, un avestruz para sobrevivir? O oh, en sí, este, ¿cómo es la vida de, de estos animalitos? En, eh, la vida, la vida eh, salvaje en sí, ¿verdad? Porque en, en la jungla, pues, u, una especie es la comida de, de la otra, ¿verdad? Entonces, como que sería muy bonito como estudiar un poco, que sea un, un poquito, un párrafo que encuentren de alguno de esos animalitos y lo pongamos en práctica el día de mañana, estaría fantástico como lectura, ¿verdad? Como lectura. Entonces les dejo la idea porque ya mañana nos vamos a practicar los imperativos, nos van a enseñar cómo, cómo hacer este origami, algo sencillo, no van, a hacer el, no van a hacer el camello que vimos ahora o el rinoceronte que eso se veía muy difícil. Uh, y nos, y nos dan las indicaciones ahí de cómo hacerlo. No sé si hay consultas, preguntas. Yo una pregunta, Ticha. Pero Liz. ¿El origami tiene que ser de animalito o puede ser otra figura? No, esos solo fueron ej ejemplos. Fíjense que cuando yo fui estudiante, este, me dejaron esta actividad. Y es, yo lo que hice fue un barquito. <risa> Eh, yo hice un barquito y pues, pues me salió bien mi presentación, gracias a Dios. Y este, no, me, no me compliqué haciendo algo, algo difícil. Así, algo sencillo, un avioncito, un, un barquito, un sombrerito, un corazoncito. Cosas sencillas. ¿no? Y depende de lo que usted... Si usted ya sabe hacer uno, pues perfecto. Ese, ese muéstrenos lo o si, si quiere, pues enseñarnos cómo hacer una rosita, con, si no es con papel, con otro tipo de, de material como lana. Por ejemplo, he visto yo que, que hacen como, como algunas florecillas de lana, pues también. Uh, lo importante es la actividad en donde nos enseñen o nos den instrucciones de cómo, cómo hacer algo, cómo crear algo. ¿Ok? Ese, ese es el meollo de todo. Any other question? No more questions? No question. Okay, so let's stop over here. Recuérdense, yo voy a estar pendiente de verificar esa, uh, esa plataforma. Mañana vamos, de hecho, le va, lo vamos a resolver como grupo. Por eso es que yo necesito ver en la plataforma que ya todos lo los resolvieron para ir este, resolviéndolo como, como, como equipo, como grupo. Y si surgen dudas, eh, pues ahí las aclaramos. Ok. So let's see tomorrow. It's been a pleasure to me to teach you uh, a little bit of English. And have a nice night. A good night. See you tomorrow. Good please. night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow, everyone. Good night.